Cool guys, so yeah, when we're actually starting to look at a few more hunting techniques, you actually start looking at your gear at that point. So you might be in different positions like, you know, right up in the whitewash in shallow water, getting busted around with by the swell. Uh, you might be in some limited visibility situations. And that's where I really find, you know, looking at your gear can really change the effectiveness on how, how successful you're going to be. Um, so in low vis, or also when you are up in those whitewash shallows, a smaller gun can really make it a lot easier to hunt different species. Um, so, you know, using shorter roller guns can really help, or even just making sure if you're using a traditional rail gun, that you're using a smaller size, like a one meter. So for me, if I'm up, uh, up in the shallows on headlands or even in the estuaries, I'll be using a 90 centimeter standard conventional rail gun. Um, from there, you know, chasing species like snapper, jobfish, a really big thing is, again, what we talked about earlier, was your profile but also making sure that they're not being too intimidated by you. And the first thing that they really look at is eye contact. So keeping your eyes you know, off the fish. So there's a few different ways you can do that. So again, hitting the bottom, making sure that you're nestled into that reef will help a lot. The next product you'll have is like a tinted lens mask. So with these guys, on different angles, you'll see that you will get a reflection. So this will block your eyes uh, effectively to the fish. Um, for me, I prefer a clear lens mask, so I use an actual different technique for that. Um, if I'm chasing snapper, jobfish, mulloway, just about any species really it can really help, is I'll hit that bottom, find some sand, and flick some sand. Now you'll have that you know, a big plume of sand in front of your face. At first it's pretty hard to see through, but as it starts to settle, you'll be able to see the fish through that. That does quite a few things. It hides your eyes from the fish, but a big thing is also, it, a little bit of action in the water to some species can make them even more inquisitive. So you'll actually sometimes see fish as soon as you've thrown sand, quickly turn and come back to you. You know, when you're starting to chase pelagic fish, a big thing that a lot of people use is flashes. Now there's quite a few, few reasons for that, is that you're going to be, as it's pulled up and down the water, it makes some noise clinking around, but it also reflects a lot of light. So if species like Spanish mackerel, wahoo, marlin even, this will just really give them a little, give you a little bit more chance to get a shot on them. It's not necessarily going to guarantee that fish are going to come, but when they do come, the biggest thing it's going to do is distract them. So you'll often see, whether you've seen in videos or in the water yourself, you'll see that Spanish mackerel, dog tooth tuna, those type of species can be really aggressive towards these. They'll actually come in and start fighting them. Uh, and that's perfect because they're not worried about you whatsoever. And at that point, it just gives you that little bit more time to you know, duck dive, get in behind them if you need to, and take that shot. Um, so that's what your flashes are for. Um, and it's the same, to, to, the same can be said with your burley. So burley, it will definitely put a, um, you know, an oil slick uh, and some flesh through the water, which obviously they're, they're interested in. But also it is the reflection of you know, the pieces of uh, flesh dropping through the water, which does pull your fish up. Um, so again, we're using that to to draw fish in and distract them from you rather than actually just guarantee baiting them up effectively. Um, when you do start seeing fish come in, like Spanish mackerel, wahoo, those kinds of things, keeping behind them uh, out of their eyesight as much can really, really help uh, get a, an actual really good shot on them. So if you get yourself in a position with species like mackerel, wahoo, um, and they are that little bit more skittish, if you haven't, if you've already tried diving away from them, they should usually start coming back around and you'll cut them off. And that's a really good point is as soon as you start seeing them come, that's when you push your gun out and wait for them to swim in front. And that's when you're gonna get a really good shot on them. Now, if that's not necessarily working with them, if you've got ones that are a little bit more skittish, they'll start you know, positioning themselves swimming away. And at this point, I really like to get in behind their little blind side. And whether you keep cutting in under behind them, eventually at some point, you're hoping that they're going to turn around and think what is going on here. At that point, once they turn, you've got a really good shot. Um, taking that shot from behind can be you know, a little bit of a Hail Mary. Um, and it won't really guarantee a, a really nice shot on them that's either gonna be holding or, or a stone shot. Um, same with those species as well. Again, the same principle with the flasher, that little bit of noise will uh, make them a bit more inquisitive. You can do that with things on your gun. So with these guys, you know, 
once your rubbers are under tension. If you're strumming your rubbers, um, literally rolling like this and just hearing that noise of that shark clip or your float line if you're using one, clicking around, can easily turn a fish as well. Um, and that's, at the end of the day, that's, that's the biggest thing we're trying to do is make sure that we're turning a fish or getting them inquisitive enough to get it within, you know, three, four meters, we'll get you a really nice position to shoot. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. You can check out more content on our YouTube channel. Visit one of our stores and shop online at www.spearfishing.com.au.